the claim I'm uh, responding to is stopping the production of paper products is counterproductive to ecological efforts. My opponent's secondary claims are number one, decreasing paper consu consumption will result in fewer trees in the environment. Number two, paper products are more desirable to use in packaging. And number three, paper is safer for humans than substituting plastic products. Back to the first claim. My response to the claim one is uh, decreasing paper consumption will not result in fewer trees in the environment. According to the article by greenfacts.org, for forest resource assessment for 2005, countries were asked to provide information on their forest area for three points in time. This allows calculation of the net change in forest area over time. This net change is the sum of all negative changes due to deforestation and natural disasters and all positive changes due to afforestation and natural expansion of all forests. The total net change in forest area in the period of uh, 1990 through 2000 is estimated at negative uh, 8.9 million uh, hectares per year, equivalent to a loss of 0.22% of the remaining forest area each year during this period. The total net change in forest area in the period 2000 to 2005 is estimated at negative 7.3 million hectares per year, an area the size of Panama or Sierra Leone or equivalent to a loss of 200 kilometers squared of forest per day. Compared to the 1990s, the current annual net loss is 18% lower and equals a loss of 0.18% of the remaining forest area, area each, each year during this period. This percentage may seem low, but it shows the result of fewer trees in the forest, which can be detrimental to ecological efforts and to the animals that are forced to leave what were once their homes. On uh, my second, uh, my response to the secondary claim is uh, paper products are equally desirable to use in packaging as other products. Those that choose paper bags when leaving a grocery store usually think that they're helping the environment by not choosing plastic bags. But little do they know that paper bags have negative effects to the environment as well. According to the article, paper versus plastic, even though petroleum goes into making plastic, it turns out that making paper bag, making a paper bag consumes four times as much energy as making a plastic bag. Also, paper production emits air pollution, specifically 70% more pop pollution than the production of plastic bags. According to the certain, according to, according to certain studies, manufacturing paper emits 80% more greenhouse gases. And consider that making paper uses trees that instead could be absorbing carbon dioxide. A way to avoid a battle between paper and plastic would be to simply choose reusable bags, which are manufactured responsibly without using the environment, environmentally harmful materials and can last many trips to the grocery store or supermarket. My uh, response to the third claim is that paper is as harmful for humans as the substituting plastic products. According to the article, The Environmental Impact of Paper Production, historically, pulp and paper production has ranked among the most resource-intensive and highly polluting of all manufacturing industries. Besides fiber, the primary inputs into the paper-making process are water, energy, and chemicals. In the United States, the paper industry is the largest user per ton of product of industrial processed water and the third largest industrial consumer of energy. Also, paper making is a very chemically intensive process. The pulp and the paper industry ranks fourth among the industrial sectors in emissions of toxic release inventory, chemicals to water, and third in such releases to air. Paper's impact on the environment continues even after it's been thrown away. At early 2008 in the United States, paper and Paperboard account, accounted for the largest portion, 34%, of the municipal waste stream, and 25% of discards after recovery of the materials for recycling and, com and composting. The problem with all this paper being thrown away is not just about landfill space. Once in a landfill, paper 
has the potential to decompose and produce methane. A greenhouse gas with 21 times the heat trapping power of carbon dioxide. In conclusion, stopping the production of paper products is not counterproductive to ecological efforts. Thank you. All right, Miguel, everything's well organized. Uh, you have good evidence on each of the points that you're presenting. You're basically presenting counterclaims on each of those points. Uh, so there's not really uh, much opportunity for you to come to grasp with the evidence and reasoning that the advocate's using. Uh, your response basically is to deal with counterclaims. I think they're pretty effective counterclaims and you did a good job finding evidence to support those points. On the first point though where you're talking about what the disappearance of the trees was, you know, you, you had the uh, 8.9 million, 7.3 million, the 0.22 percent decrease each year. I'm not exactly sure how that is supposed to apply to the argument that the advocate was presenting, except that it does seem to suggest that it's all relatively small, which seems like it would be the advocate's position too. Uh, the loss of trees ultimately just comes down to your argument at the end where you say, well, we're still losing trees and it would be a bad thing. I thought your other arguments were much clearer in responding to the position of the advocate, um, suggesting that there are other chemicals that are released in the atmosphere, that it's more polluting, that was pretty effective, and um, that it's more dangerous or hazardous with the uh, waste products that are left over. Uh, like I said, direct uh, counterclaim on those points. Uh, I don't really have, uh, any, like I said, any reference to the information that the advocate used, so we don't get much comparison there, we just have the counterclaim. If, if we were listening to a debate and these points were back to back, it would probably be a little bit clearer. You have a tendency to read a little too much, I think maybe you want to look up at the audience occasionally. All right, thank you.